So I got some packages in. All right, so the first thing is, uh, are my new pistons. Um, they're really nothing special. Um, I didn't go forged. The only reason why I'm going with new pistons is because the block has to be bored 20 over. And so, obviously, I need larger pistons. So I'm going to assume this box is, or are, all my rings. Yep, got some compression rings and blah, blah, blah. Oil control. So, so yeah, like I said, nothing special. Just OEM quality. At least, so I hope, anyways. Just, you know, 50 millimeter or dot 50 millimeter larger. other package it's the one I'm more excited about guess I need to sharpen this guy huh That's weird. Or my rods. And these rods are from uh, KA Injection. So, thought I'd give them a shot. They look like they're um, the same as some of the other rods available online. But I thought I'd uh, support a vendor that uh, specializes with Mazda and Front wheel drive BP vehicles. So just going back over some of the parts, uh, you know, with this build, I'm not really planning on breaking any records. Just want to have a somewhat reliable setup, you know. So that's why I'm going with uh, cast pistons and uh, forged rods. You know, a few of the things I did before I made my final decision was I took some measurements of the block, measured it out to make sure that uh, taking it to the machine shop was absolutely necessary. I measured and uh, attempted to polish out the crank myself to some success. And it cleaned up quite a bit better than it was, but it still has some very light scoring, so I'm going to take it to the machine shop and see what they say and uh, probably have them professionally polish it. Uh, now that I have the pistons, um, I can actually uh, take the block to the machine shop because I want to make sure that I had those in hand so the, uh, the machine shop could actually machine the block to the uh, correct specifications. But uh, yeah, there probably won't be very many, very many more updates until um, you know I get the block back. So 